Hey guys, Edward here with Power Mechanical with a quick tip for your boiler rooms. So whether you're an operator, a facility manager, uh, the, the engineer or the director, then knowing your uh, boilers codes and regulations that are required for your specific jurisdiction is uh, a, a very good information to have. And it can be a bit of a daunting task to figure out what all may be required, especially for maybe a new plant. And the good news is, is that the National Board of Pressure Vessels uh, inspectors have uh, compiled all this data into one location. And I'm gonna show you, the tip that I'm gonna give you today is to navigate into that site and look at these jurisdictional requirements. And so if you just go on, on, online and you could, of course, just navigate straight to their site and type in National Board of Pressure Vessels. And when their homepage comes up, center of the page toward the bottom, you'll see right here, it says MB370 National Board Synopsis. And so uh, there's some good information there. It's got some contact information for getting in touch with the National Board Public Affairs Department. And then basically you would just pick out your jurisdiction like uh, for example, us here in Virginia, uh, click here and you can see it uh, starts out, it tells who the commissioner is and then the chief boiler inspector, uh, contact information for them. And uh, it goes on through, it talks about the codes that apply. Uh, see, you got the ASME, uh, C ASME CSD1 there, of course the ASME code and uh, NFP85 and you can, Scroll on down, you'll see uh, the, the fees for inspections. You can see the, uh, the frequency of inspections based on what type of boiler it is. And just some really good information here. And like I said, they've got several different jurisdictions. You can look at, um, like right here, we'll look at like New York. They have New York and New York City. So you can look specifically for the requirements there within the city of New York. This is really good information to have and it's always good to be able to quickly reference these things and just to know these like the scheduled frequency of your inspections requirements and such. And so if you like these kind of tips, stick around for our channel. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another Boiler Room Tip.